Yes, good morning. To mask or not to mask, that is the question faced by retailers as well as customers who have been fully vaccinated. That's even though the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services plans to drop the mask mandate come July 1st for everyone. But it's still scary to me because you really don't know how effective the vaccination is right now because it's still new. I think there's a lot of questions and I think that, um, you know, people are still trying to figure out a lot of things. It was a little surprising, but I did want to trust that they're vaccinated and they weren't just walking around with no mask. Various reaction to the CDC's mask mandate update, allowing fully vaccinated Americans to lose the mask indoors. While some businesses plan to follow the CDC's guidance, others are still requiring customers to mask up like Kroger. I would feel safer because how do you know who's had the vaccine? Some people who don't want to wear, wear masks anyway, this is that opportunity to say, hey, I'm not going to put on a mask. We will continue to encourage people who are not yet vaccinated to please do so in order for us to safely return to normal and restoring capacity limits. Meyer and Target initially said they would still require customers to wear a mask. However, Meyer changed his mind, joining Walmart and other major chains, saying they will also follow the CDC's new guidelines. I think I will go without once I see majority of the other people are going without it. There's a bit of confusion at places like Sports Venue Bar and Grill in Garden City, which posted on social media that it's unsure how to proceed. You can show your vaccination card and not wear a mask as you roam around, or just wear a mask while seated if you don't share your vaccination status. Some people are unsure if they're ready to ditch the mask or keep it for a bit longer. Personally, at this point, still feel comfortable with people wearing masks. Now, this here is new. Myosha released a statement saying in part, quote, Myosha is in the process of reviewing both the emergency rules and draft permanent rules. The agency has the flexibility it needs to ensure consistency with public health guidelines and will continue to protect Michigan workers as we work toward ending this pan pandemic, end quote. Now, the workplace watchdog went on to say it will comply with state rules when it comes to responding to COVID-19 uh, employee-related complaints as well as investigations. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right.